ever happen to trading stamps? Trading stamps, those small postage size glued back stamps that one got at the grocery store, service station, or other department store, were a staple of Americana during most of the 20th century. The concept of using paper and glue to increase foot traffic to businesses started in 1891 at Schuster's Department Store in Wisconsin. By 1896, the first independent trading stamp company, Sperry & Hutchinson Company, was formed. Many stamps were created over the next 80 years, including s &H green stamps, top value stamps, gold bond stamps, plate stamps, as well as blue chip stamps. The business model was simple. Give customers stamps according to how much they spent along with the booklet to put them in. Customers would look back at the stamps and fill the page of the booklets that they would then redeem at the stores for merchandise. This concept exists today at places like Chuck E. Cheese and carnivals where coupons are accumulated by playing games and then are redeemed at merchandise counters for trinkets and souvenirs. The main difference being that back in the day, the items were offered of much higher value, including silverware, kitchen appliances, furniture, and other familiar products. By the mid-1950s, over 250,000 retail outlets across the U.S. used trading stamps with around 70% of households participating in the practice. In the UK, they were called Green Shield stamps and were first introduced by Richard Tompkins in 1958. It lasted there until the end of the 1980s, mainly as a result of cost-cutting measures by its biggest retail users. Similarly, they were introduced in Canada in 1956 by Bertram Loeb, but were outlawed only a few years later by Parliament under Section 369 of their Criminal Code. By the mid-1980s, business plans no longer tolerated the 2-3% cost required to maintain trading stamps and without widespread participation in the practice, fading forever into the checkered past of Americana, becoming nothing more than a footnote of the 20th century trivia or subjects of obscure... Whatever happened to trading stamps?